So in this video, I want to go over how to use the inner product, um, this newly defined, uh, this custom defined inner product to calculate the distance between two vectors. So we know that um, that the, the distance vector uh, between two vectors, uh, let's say we'll call it, I'm going to write it like this, dxy. Um, this is just going to be simply uh, x minus y. And so if I wanted to get, you know, the, the actual distance, I could calculate the length of this vector. And that will give me the, the length of the distance vector. Uh, where the, the distance vector, if we have x here and y here, if we calculated the distance vector, just x minus y, this would give us a vector that would look like this. And so this vector right here, this is going to be x minus y, okay? And the, the length of this vector right here is the distance between x and y. And that is what we want to calculate, is the distance between x and y. So we have to do two things here. We have to, one, calculate the components of this vector um, x, x, x minus y, and then we have to calculate the length of it. We just saw uh, in a previous video, if you haven't watched that, watch how we can use uh, the inner product to calculate the length of a vector. Uh, but we can use the inner product to calculate the length of, of any vector, especially this vector right here, and, and that's going to give us uh, our distance between x and y. So I'm going to clear up my space real quick, and then I'm going to start with a concrete example. All right, so first off, what I want to do is I want to show how we would calculate the, the length of this distance vector using our regular dot product as the inner product. So let's imagine we had some vector x, which had components 2 and 4, and then we had some vector y that had components 3 and 1. I'm going to draw a little coordinate system over here. There we go. There we go. And then let's make this one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And let's draw x. x is going to be two, four. So x is going to point. Let me do that again. X is going to point here. This is X equal to 2, 4. And then Y, Y is going to point 3, 1. So this is Y equal to 3, 1. All right, and so if we wanted to calculate the distance vector over here, X minus Y, this is going to be, you know, 2, 4. This is fairly straightforward to calculate. 3, 1. This is going to be giving us a vector 2 minus 3, 4 minus 1, okay, which is going to give us a vector 2 minus 3 is negative 1, 4 minus 1 is 3. And so this is going to give us a vector uh, negative 1, 3. So x minus y, if we start at the tip of y and we draw and we go negative 1 in this direction and then go up 3 in the y direction and then draw an arrow that points to the tip of x. This vector is x minus y. And if we wanted to calculate the length of x minus y, uh, we know, if you don't know, uh, please revisit the inner product video on how we can calculate lengths using the inner product. The length of x minus y is just going to be the, um, sorry, let me rewrite that again. It's going to be the inner product between x and y, or x minus y, and x minus y with itself. And so um, what that's going to look like if we, you know, define our inner product over here uh, as being the, the general dot product, what that's going to look like is we're going to have x transpose, and then we're going to have the identity matrix as our middle matrix here, and then this allows us to get the dot product. And so if we calculate this square root, this is going to be um, negative one, or what's in the square root, sorry, times the identity, 
times negative one, three. And so this is going to give us a, let me get some more space here. This is gonna give us the square root of, let me give myself a little bit more space here, the square root of, this, uh, this vector times the identity matrix is just gonna give, you know, give back itself. And so we're just gonna take the multiplication of it with itself. It's one of the nice things about the identity matrix. And so we're left with our regular dot product. And so negative one times negative one is gonna be one. And then plus three times three is going to be nine. And so we get the square root of 10. And that is the, the length of our um, x minus y vector right here. And so let's do this using our inner product. Okay, so I cleaned up my space a little bit. And um, remember we have you know x minus y here is equal to negative 1, 3, which is this vector right here that I have my arrow pointing to. And so I'm going to redefine our inner product to be the um, uh, this inner product right here. And so our inner product between any two vectors, x and y, is going to be equal to x transpose 1, negative 1 half, negative 1 half, and then 1 times y. And as an exercise, if you, uh, if you so dare to watch the uh, video on how to prove that an inner product is a valid inner product using the properties of uh, symmetry, bilinearity, and positive definite matrix, uh, try to prove this inner product is valid. Or you can just uh, you know, trust me and trust that this is a valid inner product. And so how would we um, then calculate the length? Well, let me move down a little bit. So let's calculate the length of x minus y. We can write this as the, the square root of x minus y with x minus y itself. And so this is gonna be equal to negative one, three times one, negative one half, one, and then three. And so this first multiplication here, this is gonna give us um, a one by two vector. And so that's gonna be a negative one, because negative one times one, minus three over two. And then in the first entry and the second entry is going to be a positive one over two um, plus three, right? So these are two separate entries. And then all of this multiplied by negative one, three. And so I'm gonna give myself some more space. So we're gonna have the square root of this first one times uh, this first entry here, negative one. And so that's gonna give us, uh, well, first let's reduce this, right? So negative one minus three. Well, that's just the same thing as negative two over two minus three over two. And so a negative two over two a negative two minus a three is negative five, and so this is gonna be a negative five over two in the first entry. And then a one half plus a three, a three is a six over two, and so it's gonna be a seven over two. And then negative one, three. And so this uh, multiplication is gonna give us negative five over two times negative one, it's just five over two plus seven over two times three is 21 over two. And so this right here is going to be equal to the square root of 26 over two, which is 13. And so let me write that, you know, I thought I was gonna need more room than that, square root of 13. And so that is the length of our vector right here, x minus y. Under this, under this inner product definition, when we use the dot product, it was the square root of 10. This time it's the square root of 13. So that is how you can use the inner product to calculate the distance between two vectors. By first calculating the, the distance vector like we have here, and then calculating the, the length of that vector.